I recently acquired those uh, Jane Davenport's Mermaid Markers. They're filled with ink and they're essentially kind of like the water, all the water brushes that we know. You know, these types of brushes that you can add water to them, except these ones have color and they have a brush tip. It's a nylon brush uh, tip. It's a movable bristle. It's not a rigid, it's not felt. And I've gone ahead and swatched them. And by the way, um, I wasn't going to splurge on any of the Jane Davenport stuff. But when I saw these and when I saw the 55% off coupon at Michael's for Saturday only here in Canada, uh, we never get past 50%. So that's kind of odd. So I took advantage of that. And I figured that when they're done, I have a whole bunch of dilution sprays, which I'm not using. I can refill this. So anyways, I've gone ahead and swatched all the colors. As you can see here, there are 12 colors. They're gorgeous, gorgeous colors. She calls this set the mermaid set. I'm not sure how many sets. Like I said, I have not researched a heck of a lot on these. Uh, I've only seen a couple of people uh, unboxing and, you know, doing the whole, here's what I bought. A haul video is what I'm looking for. Um, what I've noticed is that they are not as movable as any regular watercolors, which means that they will sink into the paper quite quickly. However, they're super pigmented, and my guess is because it's ink, it's not really watercolor, that is kind of normal. What I wanted to see this morning is if, if they were going to move. This was done two days ago, so I have a water brush uh, filled with water here. So I'm just going to... Yeah, they are movable. Which is cool. So you see, I was able to grab the color and extend it a bit. It's quite fun to have that possibility. I wasn't expecting anything permanent, by the way. So it is not like an ink tense pencil, which is made of ink, so I'm assuming it's it's another type of ink in there. It's not India ink. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want to add too many details inside the leaf because I want to have the veins white. So let's just see here. So this color is seaweed. I want to see if they're gonna how they're going to layer. And by the way, to get the ink flowing at first, oh yeah, and it comes with when you buy it. There's a little yellow ring here. Um, the the yellow ring is kind of like here when you buy it. It's around that part here, and then you have to remove. So you have to unscrew the whole thing. You have to remove that ring and then pop this back into place. You'll hear a click, and then you. Um, you screw that back and then you get the ink flowing by pressing on this plastic uh, part here. Not this end, but right here. The other green, which is Siren. I want to see if I can layer them. This one's more potent than the other one, so let's see if I can. My book's not moving, it's stuck somewhere. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have a bit of contamination here. Let's clean this off.
I'm gonna start from the top this time. I like the tip. The tip is extremely fine. I want to see if I can lift some of that color. So I'm going to use the water. This is the Pentel water brush. It's very fine. Now let's say, for instance, I want to lift this part. Let's see if I can soften that part right here. The, I have to admit that um, the reason why I went and looked at them is uh, because I saw Peg Robinson swatch some of the these colors and I fell in I'm not a yellow kind of person but I fell in love with this color this color is unbelievable this one is pirate gold pirates gold and it's like this yellow orangey it's just it's just oh so yummy so I want to do kind of like little flowers. I just want you to see the richness of that color. It is so yummy. It's almost like, I don't know. Exactly like it's described. It's pirate's gold. It's just, it's so beautiful. Look at this. Okay, I just flooded that with water here. Um, this rich yellow, orange yellow. The only problem I see with this palette is that there are too many reds. Uh, this one is considered a pink, I guess, and probably it's because I had a lot of ink at the beginning. So this one's called Starfish. But there are these two reds. One is cooler, one's warmer, but because there's this color in the set, I'm not sure that the coral isn't really necessary, but anyways. Um, so I want to add, yeah, that's what I was suspecting. Uh, if you add, if you have a lot of water in one area, you probably will be able to add another color into it because the water will go up the brush and kind of dye that color. So I'm going to get it going. Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> I mean, look at that. Look at the mix of the, ooh. Look at the mix of these two colors. That is awesome. Don't look for this species of flowers. It's probably not existent. 
Oh, yum. I mean, wow. Okay, these are fun. These are fun. I don't regret my purchase. This color is probably going to be my favorite color with the yellow. Uh, this is Byron Bay, which is where she lives. But it's this beautiful turquoise color. Okay, the camera's not picking that up. It's gorgeous, trust me. This color is much more blue um, on the screen um, in real life than what you're seeing here. you could see this color guys it's trust me on this this color is fantastic um, I've lost the yellow so I'm gonna add some yellow here I'm gonna be super careful um, in case you're curious I figured that I should keep those upright like this because I do have a feeling and I'm kind of right that they might leak if um, <clears throat> if they're stored horizontally. I wanted to see how it would react to this spray. That is really, really fun. That yellow gets to me. I don't know why, but it's like, oh, what does she call it? Pirate's gold. No wonder I like it. <laughs> It's a gold. I hope that um, that gives you a little idea of what these uh, markers are. So anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.